Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the vlog. Sorry, like, the lighting is really weird. Like, I just got inside the car and the light's, like, kind of, like, overhead lighting. Um, but I had, like, uh, the vlog had a little late start. Um, I was up early. I had got the kids fed. And we're actually going to head over to In-N-Out because my aunt just got here and my mom and the kids are over there. So we're going to go um, have lunch. Hi, kids. We already finished. You already finished eating? We finished everything. <laughs> Alright you guys, I am back at the house. I unfortunately didn't go to another um, Goodwill because I have to go barbecue right now, but I got a lot of good stuff. I'm really excited to share with you guys what I found. So I'll show you guys in tomorrow's um, vlog video. I'll do the haul from all of today's um, stores that we went to, but now let's go outside. All right, it's only like four o'clock, but Sun sets really early right now, so I have to start cooking dinner already, even though we're not going to be eating for a little bit. But um, we wanted to barbecue the chicken, so going to open this up. Oh, going to clean this and move that out. Okay, guys, I just have the grill heated up. I put some oil on it just so that the chicken doesn't stick. And then now... I'm going to start putting the chicken on the grill. Now this one's a really easy recipe. It's just um, olive oil, um, salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, tons of garlic, and lots and lots of lime juice. And that is pretty much it. But it, and this was just marinated this morning, then we just put it in the fridge. And it is so easy, and it always tastes fresh and delicious. You can eat this just with rice, you can eat it in a salad, and eat it with a sandwich, by itself. So, 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 so yummy. I'm just gonna get all this on here, and then I'll be right back with you guys. Look at that chicken, you guys. I'm so excited. It smells really, really good. And it's such an easy, quick recipe, too. And you can actually marinate this and then just put it in the freezer. Or you can already grill it and then just put it in the freezer and then just let it thaw and pour it in the microwave or something. But it's such a super easy recipe and it's always delicious. And you can eat it with so many different things. And you can even, like, turn the chicken into, like, quesadillas after... Or if you want, you can put them in um, like chicken soup or make enchiladas. So many things. So, yeah. I wish you guys could smell this right now. Okay, I just flipped them. I cannot wait to eat these, you guys. They look so delicious. I'm cracking up because my mom and aunt are up there in the balcony. And then my aunt got the track off of the door and they were like struggling, but they fixed it already. You guys, I'm tasting it right now. It's so delicious. But yeah, pretty much the chicken's pretty much done. So I'm gonna get them back all in here and then put them in the oven to keep them warm until it's time to eat dinner. You guys, look at this chicken. Look at those grill marks. <laughs> I'm always on like the quest to get like the perfect grill marks. And I don't know, these are pretty okay, I guess. Not top chef, but I mean, yum. So I just wanted to take a second to talk about this Proenza Schooler bag. I love this bag so much. I was using it today and I really, really like it. It's such a cute little bag. Um, honestly, this like stain doesn't even bother me at all. I actually kind of want to like drag it down and um, I don't know if I'm going to do like a formal video on it just because I don't think it's like a, um, well, I guess. Should I do a formal video on it or should I just do it in a vlog? Let me know down in the comments below if you guys want like a formal like how to step by step video on this or if I should kind of just do a, like a segment in one of my um, vlogs for how I'm going to do it. But I already have a plan for how I'm going to fix up this bag but it's such a cute bag. It holds, okay so I have this wallet right here, this is my Birka wallet, and this is the one where I hold, like, my extra cards, and I have cash in here. And this is that, um, Celine wallet that I got from Crossroads, and it was super cheap. I think it was, like, 30 or 40, something like that, um, dollars. And it holds, I have my sunglasses right here. These are those Gucci's that I just recently got. I have my keys in here. I have a EOS ch uh, chapstick. Um, I actually took 
my like SD cards and batteries and put them in here in the back pocket. So I have all of that in here. Like these are just like my essentials. Um, and then um, I have my regular little wallet here in the back so I don't have to open and close the flap every time I am getting anything. So yeah, it's such a cute bag. It's super functional. It's easy to carry. And I love it, love it, love it immensely. So I'm very excited about this bag. And I have been conditioning it nonstop because the leather was so, so dry. And it feels so much better. Some of that softness is coming back to the leather. Um, though these, like, little straps right here, they're still pretty hard. Um, these pieces have gotten a lot softer. I'm actually going to condition it now while um, I'm in my room waiting um, for everyone to eat um, dinner. And then, yeah. I love this bag so much. Alright you guys, so I just had dinner and it was delicious. The chicken was amazing. Just had that with some rice. And a little, we finished up the tomato soup that we had from um, this morning. And it was so good. Anyway, I wanted to do a really quick handbag rehab for you guys. Now this is kind of like, um, almost like a hack, I guess. Like a handbag rehab hack. Now, um, this is a Michael Kors satchel that I purchased this morning at the Goodwill. If you didn't see that video, it went up this morning. I'm going to have it linked in the top right hand corner and then down below in the description box as well. Um, but this bag is so cute and it's in actually super, super, super nice condition. Um, the only thing is the corners are a little bit, um, lighter than the rest of the body. Now, it's not necessarily damaged, but it's not, um... It's just like kind of like that top layer, um, like the super layer, the superficial layer of like your skin, like your epidermis or whatever. Um, it got kind of like removed, and it's a little bit lighter, cause like when they dye leathers, the dye seeps through, and then the top layer is always gonna be like the darkest, and then it's gonna get like lighter as you progress going down until it is like the original color of the leather. And right here you can see that it is a little bit lighter. Now I have a quick hack, and I think I've mentioned this before in my other videos, and um, a lot of people have this laying around, and this is the reason why I actually found this product and decided to try it out and use it, and it has worked perfectly. It's perfect for retouching black leather but it's only um i've only tried it on black i know it comes in brown as well I haven't tried it on brown but black it's like perfect and like a necessity and a must have um and it is this kiwi leather dye now this also comes in a leather polish do not get the polish make sure to get the dye the dye once it dries it dries very quickly um it holds steadfast it's not going to rub off it's not going to come off or anything so it's perfect so i really really Really, really, really love this product, especially for a touch-up for something that's black. I wouldn't use this to dye something completely from another color because the um, the solution in here, it's not like a thick dye. It's not very, um, I guess it's not very pigmented. It's not as pigmented as a regular dye. Or, I, I don't know exactly no, but I just know for sure that um, you're going to have to use a lot of coats of this to match a regular um, leather dye like the Angelus dye that I use. So, I always find that this is only good for touch-ups on something that's already black. And what's perfect is that it kind of matches the finish as well of whatever product you have. And it just is like a dream. So, I use this. I shake it up really, really well. And then, it has a nice sponge applicator, applicator too, which is super awesome. And see how, like, it's kind of like a, almost like a gray color and the rest of this is black. We're just going to tap this on there. And just apply easily. And it's like, bam. It's like perfect, right? Like it, it worked really, really well. Let me show you guys again right here on this corner. See how light that is? And then you're just gonna go like that and look how dark that is already. So it's super, super easy. Um, it's a lot easier than using like a regular dye because then you have to um, use like a brush or something or an applicator. And this, is it just gets the job done really easily, dries really, really fast. It's just like a nice, quick little layer of dye to bring back that color. And then it's good to go and you're like, 
you're never going to tell that there was anything, um, like, wrong about the bag. Even though necessarily, like, you're not even going to notice this if you were using the bag. Like, someone wouldn't, like, just stare at it and notice that it was kind of light. But, um, it does such an amazing job. And this is perfect for just, like, touching up, um, like, corners like this. Or if your, um, tire bag just needs, like, a quick color touch up. This is the way to go. You don't necessarily need to get uh, a bottle of dye. And this will literally last you forever too. Just because you're just doing um, quick touch-ups. And then right here. Oh, my camera is about to fall off of the table. Come back. To, okay. <laughs> and then you see right here. There's kind of like. Um, this is cool for like kind of touching up like light marks too. There is like a light mark right there, and I kind of just go in a circular motion and fill it in, and it just like fills in that mark like beautifully. So this is just like such a cool trick that I think like a lot of people can use. I'm gonna do the back now as well, and also like I, like I said too, this stuff dries so quickly. Um, it'll, like, regular dye dries very fast, too, but this dyes e dries even faster. Um, this, I would use it within 24 hours. Other dyes, I would usually wait up to at least 48 hours at the least before I start using something. Even though they usually say you can wait 24 hours, I always wait 48. Because I always find that there might still be a little bit of color rub off, especially if you're wearing a light color or something like that. So, I always just, like, err on the side of caution for, um regular dye but this like 24 hours even less you're good to go and the like the formula is really light even if you get it um on anything else it's not gonna like, leave like a harsh line of demarcation which is also a reason why i don't like to use um like pure leather dye for a touch-up because if you mess up and get it on anything else you're gonna have like a harsh kind of um, mark and you're gonna see it so you'd have to like almost dye the whole thing whereas when you use this the formula is really light and it just it just has like enough pigment and color take color inside of it to um, just color in like that lightness that um, that spot has and it's like honestly it's like amazing so I love 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 this product immensely um, this is, like, other than, like, the Angelus products, this leather dye for a, like, a quick touch-up like this is my go-to. And with that, let me show you guys how this looks now. Like, it's literally so perfect. It looks so good. Check that out. Like, the bag looks phenomenal. Like, those corners are, like, looking beautiful. Here's the other side. We also touched up these corners as well. And look at this. Like, even though I'm touching, like, this is already dry. Like, we did this corner. Like, it's not leaving any, it's, like, rub, not rubbing off at all. And I just did it, like, not even a minute ago. So, this stuff dries really quickly. I love it so, so much. And that is going to be this quick handbag rehab little trick for you guys. Um, I think I have another video where I actually use this. If I refine it, I'll have it linked down below. But honestly, it's so easy to use and you really can't mess it up as long as you're just retouching something that's already black. Dries quickly. Just make sure to shake it really, really well. You want to make sure that formula is mixed up really nicely in there. Um, and other than that, you're good to go. This is going to dry really nicely. And I'm going to actually have this up for sale in the shop. So if anyone is interested, this beautiful Michael Kors bag is going to go up. Um, once this dries, I'm just going to condition it really well. And then um, it'll be on its way. It, doesn't even come, it even has a crossbody strap, which is like perfect too. The inside is so clean as well. The crossbody strap was like never even used. It literally still has like the little paper that's on it. So... Really, really nice, and I like that the con that this is kind of um, a contrasting leather. It's actually like a Saffiano type leather, whereas this crop, this bag is um, like just a nice soft pebble of calf leather. 
So that is like my little handbag rehab tip for this guy. Now actually what I want to do is I want to test something on this bag right here that I, um, I was showing you guys earlier. I want to test something. I'm actually going to move you guys just like a tad bit. So I wanted to test something and see if there's any way that I can actually lighten up this darkness right here. So in order to do so, I'm going to have to actually remove everything in here. Just, I have like a million car keys. I have like all the car keys in my bag. Um, I just want to make sure that I don't get anything on any of these things inside here. So I just have my spare batteries. I think I took everything out. Oh, I have my wallet back here. And receipt. Okay, so for this, I actually want to try using um, the leather preparer and see if that will do anything to this. I'm actually going to try it on the back because it's not as apparent. Like, if, I, if it does something weird, you're not going to be able to tell. And there's already, like, this weird, like, thing that's happening right here. I don't know what happened. But it looks like the top layer of the leather, like, literally kind of melted a little bit. Um, but I'm going to use my leather prep and I'm going to use um, some Q-tips. So I have my Q-tips right there. And then I have my Angelus Leather Prep right here. And also, like, all, like for all these products, I'm going to have everything linked down below in the description box. If you guys are ever interested in, um, like, where I get any of my, um, handbag rehab supplies, I always have them linked down below in the description box. But I know I told you guys that I was going to try and mimic this. And I think I still do. I still really do like this look. But... I do want to see if there's like any way to remove because um when I was per when I purchased this bag um the listing said that they dropped like cooking oil was dropped on it and now I want to see if there's any way to kind of lighten cooking oil if um if this ever happened to any of you guys so that way you know just like kind of like for the sake it's like a scientific experiment almost. So I'm going to zoom in right there. And I'm going to focus just like on this spot right here. And we're going to see what happens when I put some of this on there. And hopefully it doesn't like do something crazy. It might not even do anything at all, honestly. Like who knows what's going to happen. But... I'm even going to put some up here too where it's not as, um, the stain isn't as dark. I'm going to see if anything, like, lifts. But I'm just going to focus on this, like, little circle of leather. And you can see that some of the color is already actually rubbing off on the end of the Q-tip. And it looks like there is kind of, like, some sort of chemical-y reaction that's kind of happening. Um, there was, like, it's, like, kind of turning white. Almost. Did you see that? Like when I just let it dry. Let me actually put a little bit more. This is interesting. I'm going to go move into this region right here. I'm just going to let it soak a little bit. But what's crazy is I think like it's actually lightening up. Let me just... I should have taken before and after photos, but you guys can probably... I can probably just like rewind this and then see and then do like a side-by-side -side comparison and see how this actually looks, but let's, I'm trying to, I want to see how much this is going to get out. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it sit again too, because it was like making like some white, white, like, do you see that? It's like turning white. What is that? Oh, that's so weird. What is it? I want to know what it is. I'm always interested in, like, chemical reactions. <laughs> I think that's, like, my inner scientist. Um, if you guys watched that Q&A, um, you guys, like, asked, like, what my background was. And, like, if I went to school or anything. I did go to school. I went to school for cell and developmental biology. So I did go to school. Uh, my major was in biology. And I was going to go to medical school and decided... 
not to. And now we're here trying to do this handbag rehab on this Proenza Schooler bag, which I absolutely love. I love, love, love this bag to death. And I am really excited to see how this turns out. And let me just speed up the drying process by using a clean Q-tip and kind of just like rubbing it over the surface and kind of trying to absorb some more uh, like that, whatever the liquid or that liquid that's in there. And you know, I feel like I see that there is a lot of lightning. Like it's definitely not as dark as it was. Especially since it made like this like a whitish kind of, I don't know if like it's like pulling out the oil that was in there. Because if it did, that would be really, really cool. But you can see right here, like it did lighten it a lot, right? Like there's like, there's, this used to be like a whole like dark little spot and now like it's a lot lighter. I am very surprised. I think I want to try it again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try it again right here because like this whole like it's super dark, right? Like it's really dark. I'm just gonna reuse this um, Q-tip that I already used that um, had the leather dye in it or the um, what's it called? The leather prep on it. I'm just gonna let this sit. I'm gonna like push the product into the leather. I'm also going to move up here, too. I'm going to push that in there. And then I'm going to use this to kind of like soak it up again like I did on the other side. Let it... Actually, I'm going to let it sit because I think I find it interesting when it makes that white kind of... And when it makes that like white stuff come out, it I feel like it's like pulling up something and it's like definitely lightening it somehow which I find to be truly fascinating I feel like a mad scientist you guys this is so okay sorry I think it cut me off because I just keep talking but on the counter there was um there were like little droplets of oil from the food and I didn't notice because the countertop was black and I just set my phone down and I set it face down too so like the top of the folio case was like smack dab in the oil and I was like mortified and then when I picked it up it had like this giant oil stain on it and it looked kind of like this because it was like a light leather and I was like mortified and it was, I, I couldn't find a way to take it out and so instead of just like having like that weird stain, I literally got cooking oil and I got a paper towel, cooking oil, put some cooking oil on the paper towel and I just rubbed it all over the surface of the phone case until it all became the same color. So yeah, that's like my story about that. <laughs> so I'm really interested in seeing how well this is going to do to remove um, this oil on here. I feel like this little section is proving to be a little bit more difficult just because it's like super dark. Um, but we're gonna keep going at it. We're like playing mad scientists right now. But I think it's pretty cool. Look at that. <gasps> it's like bleaching it. It's bleaching it. I don't even know if it's actually pulling up the leather, like, the, the oil. Or, like, breaking up the oil. And, I, what kind of, what kind of stuff is this? Like, what is in this? Does it say what's in here? No. It doesn't say what's in this leather prep. Like, it doesn't have any, like, it's probably just, like, turpentine or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's probably just what it is. Um, but like, what, right? Like, I think it made it made it considerably lighter. I think, like, in my opinion, it has 
removed a good chunk. Like I kind of want to do this little spot right here because you can see how dark it is in comparison to this. And that way you actually have like a good side by side comparison that's like not going to be as confusing because right now they're the same color. And then let's see what happens when we do this to it. I'm just like totally fiddling with this bag. But it's totally fine. It's my bag anyway. <laughs> so it's not like... I don't want to like mess up someone else's bag. But if it's mine, it's it's fine. And we got this bag for a heck of a price. I know you guys probably thought it was a little bit of expensive when I got it. But honestly, like, this bag is like... I really like it. And I really don't mind this color thing. But like for the sake of like science. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. For the sake of science. For the sake of handbags and our learning together and we're doing a little science experiment here. I feel like we're back in chemistry. Ooh, we should have like an objective. We need like, a st oh man. Let's do this. Do you guys remember science class? Do you remember like, I never, like I hated like um how you, they would give you the directions but you literally would have to write out the directions again, but then you'd have to do it in your own writing. And I, could all, I completely understand, like, the reason you're doing that is so that you can learn the experiment and have to do the experiment. And when you write it in your own writing, it helps you remember what you're actually going to do and the steps and all that. But I remember, like, I hated it, especially when I was still in high school. I was like, oh, what am I doing? But, like, it totally makes sense in the long run, in retrospect. But I feel like during that during that moment, you're like, plus like all that teenager angst stuff, you know? Okay, so I'm just gonna let it sit like I did now on the other side. Cause I feel like when I let it sit, it does more of its magic than when I try to push the product in. I feel like when I just let it sit, it can absorb more into the leather and then it does more of its stuff, right? Or am I just making it up? But who knows? I should like... <laughs> I should like write down all these things. Just like in my... I need like a notebook journal thing. Just like in science class. What really annoyed me though is that we always had to write in pen. And then we couldn't erase things that we wrote down. We had to cross it out. And I am like a little like OCD about that kind of stuff. And I hated it. And I would literally rewrite the whole page if I made a mistake. Because I wouldn't want to have to rewrite it. I would like literally just rip out the page. And then just redo it. Like just rewrite everything. Because I didn't want like anything crossed out in my journal. I was so OCD about it. And this was before they had those friction pens. And we couldn't use like erasable pens before because like you can totally tell what an erasable pen was like when you wrote with it and it was ugly and horrible but now the friction pens are so amazing and they are my most favorite pens which reminds me I do need to pick up more um, I actually managed to find some at the thrift store um, but I already used them all up so I definitely just need to go to like Walmart or Target and just buy some because they're my most favorite pens ever. They are the best pens. I also have the Friction um, erasable markers, which are awesome. And I'm totally out of focus right now, aren't I? Get into focus, get into focus. Come on, camera, work it out. Why don't you want to focus on this? Focus. There you go. Okay. Are you guys noticing a difference? I feel like this this um, little stain right here is very, very resistant to um, this little method that we're trying to recreate right there. I feel like, like right now it's still wet though, I feel like it needs to dry, but right here I feel like it did make a huge difference, like there's like a huge line where it's like got a lot lighter, right? 
I feel like it looks really bad on camera for some reason. It doesn't look like that crazy in real life. But... Look at that though. It's totally removing some of that darkness. Do you see that? Like this used to be the same color as this. And now it is getting a lot lighter. <gasps> oh no. It is doing such... A good job. I think like with um, increased like friction and speed of like kind of like going like this back and forth. Look at that! <gasps> you guys! Are you seeing this? Okay, I'm gonna try and get that little spot right there and get it even better. Okay, I'm just gonna let it sit, let it sit. Gotta be strong and not fiddle with it for a second and just letting it like breathe in, absorb that stuff and I already can't wait so I gotta go at it and see what happens. You guys, did we just like figure out something amazing together? Like this stuff is honestly the best and if you can manipulate it in a way um, that like doesn't freak you out because it is a really scary thing to use this because this stuff is very strong especially if you've ever like used it on a bag but like literally this is like look at that it has done a phenomenal job I feel like I need to make like another video just actually dedicated to this but like this is it if you guys are watching this like, isn't this amazing, you guys? Look what we figured out today. That we can, like, use this product to remove this oil. Um, and I don't know if this is going to be good for every kind of leather. Um, this is definitely, uh, I believe, Proenza is lambskin. But don't quote me on that. Um, and it is a treated leather. Um, there are many different kinds of leathers. And I wouldn't do this for, like, every type but, like, this is, like, a very promising right now, like, what's happened right here. Because we got a lot of that stuff out. It is not as crazy looking as it was. And I am very, very, very excited. I'm so sorry this video is getting so long. But this is just something that is very cool to me. That this is happening right now with this bag. I think this is so cool. Okay, well, I'm gonna just make one pass at it with you guys, and then after that, I'm gonna like end the video. But, um, isn't this so cool? <sighs> if only I had enough time to practice like on bags all day long like this, we can learn some phenomenal things. And I am working on... Okay, actually, I just ordered, like, um, a light for filming. So, like, now when I film at night, it's not going to be, like, horrendous. This is actually not that bad right now. Um, I feel like it's doing a good job of, like, the light reflecting off the table. But, um, oh my gosh. You guys. Look at that. Like, seriously. That is so much better than what it was. I think with enough, like, elbow grease, we can get, um, even more of this out. But, I'm actually gonna end this video here and not subjugate you guys to more of me trying to, uh, lighten this up. But, there is a huge difference. Like, you have to, like, right? This little spot right here used to be the same color as that, and now it is a lot lighter. It's almost the same. Like, there's... There is still a little bit of darkness, definitely, but it's not like this. So, um, I'm very, very excited. I feel like we just made some crazy scientific discovery, um, that I'm sure a lot of people already know about. But thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to check out my video earlier from, from earlier on today where we went thrifting. I decided to kind of split today's video in half just because... Um, it's gonna be like literally almost an hour long, 
So the thrifting video is this morning when I took you guys to um, three different stores, and then today, and then this one's gonna be like just like the vlog from today um, that you're watching. So if you guys haven't checked out the video from this morning, don't forget to check that out. Give this video and that one a big thumbs up. It helps immensely. And oh my gosh. I am so excited. We just reached 10, like over 10,000 subscribers. I didn't even notice. And like this morning, like everyone noticed for some reason. They were like, everyone was congratulating and like saying like, congratulations on reaching like over 10,000 subscribers. And it is amazing. It is so phenomenal, you guys, that this happened. I'm so excited. So you guys bet that I'm going to be doing a giveaway very, very soon. I just have to get everything together. Um... And I have like some exciting goodies for um, our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So don't forget to subscribe so, be, um, so you can see that video when I put, uh, for when I do that video for um, what I'm going to be giving away. I think I'm going to give away multiple things to multiple people. So I think it's going to be at least like three, there are going to be at least three winners. Um, I think, yeah, I think I'll do three winners and they're going to be pretty good things. So I'm very, 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 very excited. And thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. You guys mean the world. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day or night whenever you guys are watching this. Um, don't forget to give this video again a big thumbs up. Let's try to get this one to 200. That would be amazing and it would totally make my life. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Love you. Bye. Okay, so check out what I found. I found this Kipling. I find this is a cute one, a cute like Kipling tote. And then this, this is an authentic long shot for sure. So you check um, the diamond hatch pattern on the leather. If you can feel the embossing of the horse through to the back. And you look on the sides, it's usually, for, this is not for everyone, but usually the stitching is lighter on the top.